Did you ever love something so much you were willing to break the law for it? Well, I did. And what did I love? Rock and roll. Hi, I'm Julian David Stone, and welcome to my Kickstarter video. This is basically the archive I've been carrying around for 30 years. Last year was a tough year for rock and roll with the passing of David Bowie and Prince. To celebrate their legacies, I posted some pictures on Facebook that I had photographed of them 35 years ago in concert, and I got a huge reaction from people. People really, really loved the photos, and I you know, started to fill in the blanks and mention that I had photographed many, many other acts in the early to mid 80s. Well, several people suggested that I put them together in a photo book as these pictures have never been seen before. But then I realized there was something really unique about what I had been doing. I didn't have press passes. I had to sneak my equipment into the shows. So I would stick a lens down one, <laughs> sometimes a camera body down another, and you would sort of do this sort of waddle into the show. And I had a lot of really, really crazy adventures obtaining the photos. All of a sudden I feel this hand on my back. And I turn around and it's these two huge guys and they go, Duran Duran, group security, can you please come with me? So I'm calling this book, No Cameras Allowed, My Career as an Outlaw Rock and Roll Photographer. So with your help, I'd like to get the archive organized and scanned and put together in a beautiful coffee table book that will contain over 250 pictures of 40 different bands that have never been published before. Included will be unseen photos of the Talking Heads, U2, Prince, the Go-Go's, R.E.M., the Police, the Ramones, Joan Jett, Elvis Costello, and many, many more. But along with these photos, you'll also get all of the stories of how I was able to take the pictures. There were times where if the lens was too big, I would actually tape it to my calf and all the crazy adventures that happened while I was doing them. I keep shooting, son of a bitch, the guy jumps off the stage, starts charging into the crowd at me. I'll also get into how I eventually, towards the end of it, went pro for a little while. This is so-and-so from Rolling Stone magazine. I have your list here of photos, and I'm like, what? And then everything came to a crashing end at a Bruce Springsteen concert. You're taking a picture, and you'd sort of go, that was weird, what just happened? So take a look at the rewards that are available. There's several fun ones, including the coffee table book, plus some archival prints, both 8x10 and 11x14, of any picture from the book that you might be interested in. 